Hello, this is Crispin Flintoff from Not The Andrew Marr Show. Before this video starts, I'd just like to ask if you'd subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because we will be covering the general election um, from a totally different perspective from what you get from the mainstream media. We'll be talking about the candidates who are taking on Labour and the Tories and pushing them all the way. So please subscribe and get updates. I'm really pleased to be joined on Not The Andrew Marr Show by Rabbi Jacob Weiss uh, of the Stamford Hill community. How are you doing, Rabbi? Fine, thank God I'm all right. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on. Um, uh, you you had a, an incident that happened with you at the weekend um, at the Al Cods Day, um, and I'm just going to play uh, uh, a clip before I speak to you about this. Why are you arresting this gentleman? I've had nothing to do with his arrest. So I don't know. Is he arrested? Yes, I believe so, yeah. Why is he arrested? I don't know, I don't know because I have a guilty. If he's all right with that. Yes, yes. If you're all right with that, we can move your car. Yeah, yeah. Sir, why have they arrested you? For political reasons. <laughs> yeah, well, give me the reason. What is the reason? They said I burned a flag. That you burned a flag? Did you? Do you, do you want to give them their car keys? And there's more of that uh, video, but I just left it short. Um, so, I mean, there's a, someone was shooting a video of you. I think that's Mark Wadsworth uh, was shooting a video of you in the van, um, and you and it says you've burnt a flag. Um, can you tell us what happened? Yes, uh, every as as, as uh, every year we have a march together. Uh, our Jewish uh, group go with them. Um, the the Al Quds march together with the Islamic Human Rights Commission. And uh, we have a long march. And the end of the march was a rally, the speeches. And one of the events by the end of the march was that we burned the flag. Two of us, two of us burned the flag proudly, openly in, in the big screen. And, um, and later on, it seemed like the police had some kind of call from higher above or some, some pro-Israel Zionist uh, pressure to arrest us uh, for no, no reason at all. It was so before. This was after. So, so this this flag burning happened, and how, how long after uh, that when you were approached for, to be arrested? Maybe about forty five minutes, something like that. Oh, half an hour, yeah. I mean, uh, it was not nothing. It was it. Obviously, the police would would be scared to come come to the crowd and arrest us. So when we were going away to our car, just we were rushing home for our Sabbath, then they then they held us up. I was. I was telling the police, you know, I'm not nothing to hide. I'm, I'm come after our Sabbath, Sunday, Monday, when you want, we'll come. I'll come to the police station and give and surrender myself, not a problem. But no, 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 yeah, you're under arrest now, you know, without any disregard for my, <clears throat> for my, <clears throat> my, 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 our, well, our, our religion, our culture, and my wife and family are waiting at home. So, what, what, what did they say you were being arrested for? Uh, he said that uh, burning the flag, incitement for racial hatred. No, that's <laughs> incitement for racial. for racial hatred. Yeah, that's a really, really a good joke, bitter joke, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know any more of a racial hatred than the counter demonstration with the Israeli flags trying to against our peaceful march. We were, have, we, we would go every year with no problem with the police, no problem with the law, and they were shout, chanting their racist uh, slogans, the, the, the Israeli flags. There was not, nothing a problem at all, and we were the ones who were inside the Asian hidden because we showed our 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 opposition, our rejection to Zionism by burning the flag, and that's we we call we are the ones who are inside the Asian hidden hatreds. So they they have um, sort of confused race race and Zionism as 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 if they are uh, the same. There's no race of Zionists, are there? I don't know. Yeah, they're, com they're confused. Not the word. They're completely mixed up. They don't know where to draw. They don't know what. They don't know any. They don't know the law. They don't know what the fact of the matter on the ground is. They're just under pressure, and they just they, they they. I don't. You know, I was asking them, "Who's in charge here? Who's? I want to speak to the one arresting me. Who's in charge?" And they, they ignore my ignored my my question. Then they, they didn't answer me at all either. So I wanted to challenge them. You know, what's going on here? Who's who's, who's arresting me? Who's the one? It's full of officers there. I wanted mm. to speak to the one who decided to arrest me, and. That was so it. You were arrested. Um, how long were you kept in custody? Um, I would say around over 12 hours. Wow. From, from beginning to end. From beginning to yeah. end, right until we left at the building, yeah. And this was on the Sabbath, so you were already kind of 
you know, upset that that had happened. But how did they treat you when you were in the station? Did you get food? Did what? What did they? How did they uh, treat you there? They they try they try to they try to look after me, but they didn't really uh, uh, look after me. They weren't you know they didn't have any kosher food for me. I asked them, and it's your responsibility to give me food. Can you go home to my wife and bring food for me? I mean, there shouldn't be a problem with a half an hour drive to bring you know it's their responsibility to bring food for me, and they didn't bring me food for me. Uh, I wasn't at work, especially when there's no kosher food available there, and um, you know. They, they they said they were beginning they'll be just maybe maybe a few hours maybe six hours I thought okay six hours well how can I manage and then it ended up being hours and hours and hours uh, so you then, had then, no food for twelve hours um, yeah and you, and you'd been obviously out on the protest so you probably had no food for a while when you were on the since protest Friday, since Friday lunchtime since Friday lunchtime lunchtime I didn't dream I'd get arrested so. Since Friday lunchtime, I didn't get food since till I came home. The Sabbath Saturday morning, Sabbath Sabbath morning. So, this is this is you know if they can't look after me, they should no let me go and I'll come back Sunday. But no, they have their they, they want to they want me to stay there. That's in, that is terrible. Um, and and did they did they apologize? Did they make any any kind of uh, excuse for it, or what? Did they just say we can't do anything? Did they? They, they said they're trying, to get, they're trying to get a hold of a rabbi to bring food, and you know they're trying this, they're trying that, and they, you know I said you know you won't get anywhere, you won't get, you have to come go to my house and bring food. No, no rabbi will answer the phone now on, on the Sabbath. I was telling them, I mean, I don't. It's their problem. They wanted to arrest me before Sabbath. I told them right at the beginning, don't arrest me now. It's complicated. After the Sabbath, I'll come over to the police station, and then one hear of it. You know, this is calling it. It's, I was. I didn't resist to arrest. I was. I was. I. I was spoke quite open to them. So I gave them my identification straight away, who I am. But the one. They just want. They didn't. They were, I was speaking to the peers. Are you going to make a complaint about this, or have you? Um, first, we want to see what's going to happen with the with this criminal case, what they what they call criminal case, and see we take it from there. But. Uh, might very well be you take a take a case against them because we we can't we can't we have been many years we get we, we are we are many years already we are protesting side by side with the Palestinian groups you know PSC or, or Islamic Human Rights Commission any etc cetera, etc cetera. and there seems to be seems to be a big um, a big obstacle for the for the pro Israel uh, lobby that we that we Jews standing side by side with the Palestinian camp and uh, uh, campaigners and uh, they're trying to. I wonder if they're just trying to stop us, trying to, trying to uh, intimidate us to con continue joining this struggle. You know, they they banned me. They banned me and my colleague for for two months till July to join any uh, protest, anything to do with Palestine, Israel, in, in West in the city of Westminster. I can't join any any event in the city of Westminster till July till I get back, get back to the police station. For the next for the next uh, meeting with them, I mean, this are is. You, are you planning to honor that, or would you would you break that? Uh, we, we, we I'm going to have we have we have a meeting next week with a uh, with our lawyers, the solicitors. I'm going to see what we're going to do. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see then what to do. Maybe we'll change it. Maybe we'll. I don't know what's going to. I don't know. We. Meanwhile, the people have heard about it, our community heard about it, and they and they thought they they we're getting we're getting support rather than. The opposite. We're getting more support. We're getting more. We're going to make sure we're getting more support for our group, for our uh, Jewish Palestine campaign group, uh, mm. because of the story. So it might be more numbers coming out. They wouldn't. They're not going to silence us, the police, and not the pro. Designers are not going to silence us. I've just got a. I've just got a, a clip of um a an earlier um flag burning. That is a very short clip. I'll just play it, and so people can see that it's happened already before. Um, I mean that was that was in November, I believe that that footage. So something has changed 
I'm between the police would have seen um, that flag burning had happened before. So something has changed between then and now, hasn't it? Uh, could very well be. Yeah, I mean, it could be. There was just a you know a phone call from above, the, under the lot under lot of pressure from the government. You know, Rishi Sunak is, who because they they understand that you know these peaceful marches are uh, marches for peace, not marches of hate, and um, they're trying to sh they're trying to maybe uh, keep showing you're doing something to the government. So they're arresting whoever more people they arrest, they're doing they're showing you're doing something to calm the calm the pressure down, uh, but doesn't give them obviously the right what they're doing. These burning of the flags is a, in our culture, you know, in our in our in our school we do it once a year, like Boma in the Jewish school, we look just to show our position to the whole concept of Zionism, which is a it's Jews, which Judaism is a religion of so much commandment, so much uh, humanitarian commandment, and and the Zionism is completely political uh, nationalism has nothing to do with Judaism. This is something happening in the Holy Land in Palestine. There's a lot. Of, Burning of the flags there. Something which is in our culture to burn the flag, the Israeli flag. Would you be flag burning again? Yeah, I'm I'm so confident that you know this is a, a flag burning is a we're burning a monosity, burning hatred. This is a this is a peace thing, peace of a peace action. And we're so confident about it. And we're gonna if they want to go to court, we're gonna fight out in court. There's no no way can they take away the fact. That you know, this is a, a this is a, this is an obstacle for peace against us Jew, us Jews. The biggest the, Zionism is the biggest enemy of the Jewish people, in in every way, in a spiritual way, in a physical way, in a materialistic way, and everything is. It's been they never before have have the Jews have such a enemy before from especially from within, and being supported by the to those who those who believe they're doing us a favor, trying to support Jewish people. This is it. This is absurd and this is crazy and ridiculous. And we're going to demonstrate against that. Uh, uh, this is a joke, by the way, but are you worried that you're giving too much money to the Israeli uh, state by buying, it, by buying flags to burn? <laughs> uh, I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's worth it. If it's, if, if it <laughs> actually, this one was a paper flag, actually. It wasn't a proper flag. Uh, oh, so uh, you can make your own and you don't have to... Um, uh, you can boycott Israel at the same time as, as uh, burning their flag. 